here's a former Strictly winner, Karen Hardy, on what chemistry a woman needs to float blokes' boats on the dance floor. We women love to dance, but does our dance style reflect our personalities? Well, what is it that makes men find us attractive or unattractive? It is believed that good female dancers have been exposed to low levels of the hormone testosterone and that women subconsciously dance differently during the few days of each month when they're at their most fertile. We've constructed a dance booth which is designed to entice daily shoppers to be our female dance volunteers and male observers. There are two simple indicators of our exposure to prenatal testosterone. The first is having similar length, second and fourth fingers, and another is having ears of similar length. So Peter, tell me, from my ears and my fingers, how are my statistics? What I'm seeing here is that, in terms of your fingers, you're certainly at the low end of testosterone for women, which is great. Your ears, there's a slight difference in the size of your ears, and it seems here that you are currently at the fertile stage of your cycle. Both these two things together would suggest that men would find you highly attractive in your dancing. Once the measurements have been obtained, our volunteers will go into the dance booth and be filmed out of focus. A male audience will then be able to judge how attractive they are, based only on their dance style, without being distracted by any physical features like hair, eye colour or appearance. So will our shoppers back up Dr. Lovett's research? All right, boys, if you saw a person dancing like this at a wedding, at a party, at a club, how would you rate them? You got scores one to seven. I'd, I'd probably give yeah. that five. Five? Thank you for about four. About four, about four. not four. bad. All right, next one. When I grow up, Nah, it's too robotic. She reminds me of Crouchy or something like that, so it's not... <laughs> <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a too embarrassing parent or auntie dance. OK, time for the men to rate me. That's a woof woof with a bit of hubba hubba as well. A woof woof with a bit of hubba hubba. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> flashing. Yeah. That's enough of me. The results of our research are in. I'm delighted with the results today. They, they really confirm our previous findings. The first thing we found was that women with low testosterone were rated as more attractive in their dancing than women with high testosterone. Yeah. And the second thing we found was that those women um, who were more fertile, so on the fertile stage of their cycle, were rated as much more attractive than those women who were less fertile. But I guess from your research, yeah. um, we can say to the ladies that it's all about moving these hips when we go out dancing. Uh, hubba hubba woof woof. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Seductive, relaxed and slow movements will attract most men. So ladies, next time you're out on that dance floor, remember, keep those hips moving. Dance Queen Arlene Phillips is here. Hubba hubba woof woof. I, I wasn't taught that last year in Strictly. No, it's a technical term for dogs dancing. Oh, okay, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might have been able to do it then. <laughs>